How to buy a property with a friend or colleague? Hi, I'm Jakob Grobler, the founder and managing director of Prosperity Enterprises. Co-ownership is a great way to pull together resources and to share the benefits and responsibility of property ownership. Make sure when you want to buy a property with someone else, that the two of you have discussed what your goal is with this property that you want to acquire. And that you also discuss what each party will contribute for this acquisition. It is then very important for you to decide on the correct structure. The worst way for you to own a property is in your own name. So you want to get an entity in place that can own your property or properties. The way that I recommend you build your property portfolio with someone is that you have a company that acquires the property or the properties and that each of you have a holdings trust, holding your share in that company. Both of you would then be directors of the company most of the time and both of you will sign surety probably for the investment that you are acquiring in the property company. It is then critically important that you have a shareholders agreement. There's a lot of things that can go wrong when you co-own a property with someone else. So it is important that the rules of the game are determined and that you know what will happen if something goes wrong and that everything that you guys have agreed are done in writing. The shareholders agreement can be prepared by a commercial or real estate attorney. It is important that you get somebody that is experienced and that can set up a proper agreement for you. Once the shareholder agreement has been put in place, you can now get pre-approved. Both of you can do a credit check and an affordability check to see what you can afford together. And now it is time to find the right property. If you want to buy an investment property, make sure that both of you or at least one of you are well educated on how to build a property portfolio and how to acquire the right properties that can get you the return on investment that you need. You can then make an offer on the property, do an inspection on the property, get financing on the property and close the deal. These are the considerations that you need to consider when buying property with someone else. First is financial transparency. Be transparent about your financial situation and your existing debts. Second is legal protection. Make sure that you buy the property in the right entity and that you have a shareholders agreement or a co-ownership agreement in place. Thirdly, it's very important that you have an exit strategy in place. Both of you might not want to own this property forever. So if one of the two of you wants to exit, there should be a way for that person to exit. And then lastly, make sure there's ongoing communication that both of you know what is going on in the property portfolio. If you would like to discuss with us on how you can buy property with someone else, feel free to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with us or to attend a live property investment seminar near you. If you like this content and would like to receive more of it, remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.